Here's everything you need to know about motion graphics. Use the chapters in the description down below to quickly jump to any topic. What is a Mogurt? Motion graphic templates are templates you can create in After Effects and export to Premiere Pro. In other words, it's something you can create in After Effects to help you with animations, graphics, text, transitions, and more. Like this, this, and this. How to create a Mogurt. Open up After Effects and create a new composition. Name the comp whatever you want and set your size and frame rate. And also set your duration. Click these arrows at the top right here and go to all panels. If you have transparency toggled on, make sure it's off so you can see easier. Right click in your timeline, go new, text. Type whatever you want. You can customize your font under properties. Now I'm gonna go to align and align this horizontally and vertically. Now over here, you'll see an essential graphics window. This is how we're going to customize our motion graphic. Under primary, we're gonna select our composition. You can name your Mogart whatever you want. So what can we add to this motion graphic? If you click solo supported properties, you can see in the timeline down here, everything that we can drag up to the essential graphics. For example, dragging in source text will allow us to change the text. The first column is whatever you want. So you could put name, and then the next column will allow you to change this motion graphic. Some properties allow you to edit them. So you can click edit properties, enable custom font and Fox styles. For the sake of keeping this simple, I'm gonna drag in a couple more. Now you can rename these if you want. And now you can see we can easily adjust our motion graphic using these properties. Keep in mind that you can rearrange and add groups or different types of formatting if you want. For this motion graphic, you can also animate it. So let's click S to bring scale and add a keyframe and drag that keyframe out to one second and then change this to zero. Zero to 100%. And I'm gonna do the same at nine seconds, add a keyframe, go towards the end and change the scale to zero. Now I'm gonna highlight all of these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now you can get creative with this. Any effect that is in After Effects, you can put on text layers or transitions. If you don't like the length of your motion graphic, you can simply drag your keyframes, drag your work area end to the end of that last keyframe and right click on that bar and go to trim comp to work area. Before we export this as a motion graphic, which by the way, is not the greatest, I wanna tell you about responsive design. Head up to the top under composition and click responsive design time, create intro. You'll immediately see we have this little blue line right here. Responsive design will essentially preserve everything and all the keyframes within this blue window. So if I drag this out beyond my first keyframe, it's gonna preserve these in all of time and space, no matter how long or short my motion graphic is. I will show you an example of both of these back to back after we're done. Now go to composition, responsive design, create outro. Now I'm gonna drag this to the left right there and then drag this to the end. We've successfully created a responsive design motion graphic. Before we export, you can click set poster time and that will set the image of your motion graphic that you want for your thumbnail. We can customize this later. Now click export motion graphics and click save. As soon as you do that, this window will pop up. You can select your destination, whether it's a library or your local templates folder. And now, which is new, you can also include a video preview, but we can customize that later. You can add any keywords you want and then click okay. Now within Premiere Pro, you can go to wherever you saved it and then find your motion graphic and you'll get a preview right here. Click and drag that into your timeline and you'll instantly see that is the motion graphic that we can customize. Responsive design allows us to drag out our motion graphic so that our animation is preserved while making the middle of it change length. And if I shorten this, our motion graphic is now faster. If you don't have responsive design on your motion graphic, you'll see that if I decrease the length of this Mogurt, it will automatically cut that clip right there because the animation will not change with the motion graphic. If you want more complex tutorials on how to create motion graphics, I have a couple on my channel and I'll link them below. Essential Graphics Panel Overview. Whenever you're in the Graphics Workspace by clicking the workspaces at the top and then heading on down to Graphics, you'll see that on the right hand side, we have something called Essential Graphics. Up at the top, you'll see we have a Browse and an Edit button. Browse should be selected first because you can browse through all of your motion graphics that you have. This area right here will allow you to select your local templates or your libraries as well and your libraries are whatever's in your cloud. So you can select as many as you want, or you can only select one at a time if you like. Once you have something that you like and you have selected, you can actually click this toggle locations button to hide that right there. 
Now you can scroll through and see all your motion graphics. I'll also show you how to create these custom previews later on. Down at the bottom, you can see that we have a little slider here. This will adjust the size of your previews. So if you like having them really small, you can do that. But if you like having them bigger, you can do that as well. Find a size that works for you. There's a sort button down here and you can sort by recents or you can sort by title. If you really like a motion graphic, you can also click the star on the motion graphic to set it as a favorite. So whenever you click the star at the top, it will only show your favorite motion graphics. Whenever you drag a motion graphic into the timeline, you'll see that you're now in the edit window where you can customize all of those settings that you set within After Effects. How do you import a motion graphic? Down at the bottom right, you'll see this tiny little plus button where it says install motion graphics template. You can simply select that and then select your motion graphic that you'd like to import. There is another way, however. You can click on local templates and then right click on local templates folder and click reveal in Explorer. This will show you all the mogurts that you have currently within Premiere Pro. And you can simply drag and drop new mogurts into this folder. How to create a custom mogurt preview. As you can see in my essential graphics, these have a custom preview, but this one doesn't. KH outline versus fill. So in order to create a preview, all you have to do is right click on your local templates folder or wherever your motion graphic is and click reveal in Explorer. Find your motion graphic and all we want to do is add dot zip to the end of that file. On Mac, you may have to change Mogurt to zip, but just make sure it converts to a zip file. Double click on that so we can get in here and you'll see that there is currently nothing within this folder. All you need to do is create a PNG image and an MP4 video file that is in the resolution of 1280 by 720. Make sure your video file has no audio and both of them should be named thumb, thumb.png and thumb.mp4. Simply drag those into your zip folder and go back to your Mogurt and delete the zip. Make sure you convert it back to a motion graphic. Now restart Premiere. Our thumbnail is showing and our preview is showing if we scroll through there. If you want custom previews in your libraries, you actually have to do this process and then simply right click and then copy to whatever library you want that motion graphic in. Organize Mogurts in Libraries. Open up your Creative Cloud desktop app and click New Library at the top. You can name your library whatever you want and then click Create. In order to add a motion graphic to your library, you can either add it from After Effects within the Export window, or you can go into Premiere and find a motion graphic that you like and simply right click on it, copy to Library, and select your library. As soon as you do that, you'll see that your motion graphic has now been imported into your library. So whenever you're working off another computer, you can simply select that library and you'll see that motion graphic right there. Open a Mogurt in After Effects. If you have a Mogurt that you like and you actually want to customize it, but you can't find the original project file, you can simply drag your Mogurt into Premiere Pro, right click on your Mogurt and select Reveal in Explorer. You'll see the name next to AE Graphic. If you double click that, it will open up After Effects. As soon as you do that, it will allow you to open that Mogurt so you can start to customize or change any parameters you like and you can also re-export that motion graphic to your liking. I hope you guys enjoyed that in-depth tutorial, and if you did, click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, stay creative, and I'll see you next time.